I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will practice how to isolate variables when equations have fractions. In most of these equations you will find that x which we need to isolate is in the denominator. So that is kind of critical. So let us see how to isolate x when it is in the denominator. I will do the first two questions for you. These questions are for you to practice. right? The first one is a over x plus b equals to minus 3. Second is q over 2x minus b equals to 2. Then we have 3a divided by x minus b equals to 7. p divided by 3x minus q equals to 3 over 2. You can actually pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestion at this stage also. Here is how we will solve. First step, whenever you have a ratio kind of a situation, so when you have ratio kind of a situation the strategy for us is cross multiplication that is the strategy so cross multiply to simplify so we will cross multiply that really means a is equals to minus 3 times x plus b right so that is what we mean so basically we are multiplying this term which is in the denominator by 3 like this right so that is what you get now second step is apply the distributive property, right? So once you apply the distributive property, you get a equals to minus 3x minus 3b. Now we need to isolate x. So what we can do is we can bring this minus 3x to the left side. So we get 3x and we can add minus a. So a goes to the right side. So it becomes minus a minus 3b. To find x, we can divide by 3 both sides. So we get x equals to minus a minus 3b divided by 3. So that is one way to solve this particular question. At times, you can also write this as negative, since both are negative, as a common factor. And you can write this as a plus 3b divided by 3. Right. So that is how you could do it. Here is an alternate solution to the same question which is also kind of correct, right? So let me show you that also. What you can also do is, you can cross multiply. That is to say, uh, this cross multiplication is kind of, let's begin by writing the question first, a over x plus b equals to minus 3. So when I'm cross multiplying, I'll write 3 minus 3 in the denominator. So I can write this as a divided by minus 3. Do you see the point? So this is cross multiplication. I brought this here and I'll bring a plus b to the numerator. Do you see that? So I could write this as equals to x plus b. Right? So that is my first step. Now I can isolate for x. So I can write x as equal to, I'll bring b this side. So I have a over minus 3 and this is minus b equals to x. So I have isolated x. So that is another way of isolating x, correct? You could do either way you want, right? So these are different ways of doing it. You could further simplify, write it in that form. That is fine, correct? So either way, you get your solution. Now, let us adopt similar techniques and do one more. Once I do this question, these are for you to practice, right? This is slightly different. You need to cross multiply means you'll multiply p by 2 and uh, 3 by both these terms, correct? Let me show you how we should be doing. This term being multiplied by 3 is similar to this term being multiplied by 2, right? So let us cross multiply. Either technique can be adopted. We'll cross multiply this time. So q equals to 2 times 2x minus p, right? So that means q equals to, open the bracket, we have 4x and then we have minus 2p. Bring 2p to the left side. So q plus 2p equals to 4x. And then x is equals to q plus 2p divided by 4. Perfect. So you could do like this or you could adopt this method of bringing 2 here first and then isolating. But in this particular question, that is a better approach. So at times you may find one approach to be better than the other. I hope that really helps. This indeed is probably uh, the best approach to follow most of the time, right? 
I hope that helps. Copy these two questions, try it yourself, and then uh, we will evaluate some similar expressions. Thank you and all the best.